Well, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, no matter where you are in the world. I want to welcome you to our broadcast today, and so thankful that you are with us. And uh, we want you to just go share the broadcast, get it out there, help us get it out there. Glory be to God. It is going to be full of God today. That much I do know because we have a mighty man of God with us that was with us on Sunday. And I said, we got to get a spillover on that because there's something happening. He just, he was going to get started Sunday and then we brought the panel on. And so today I said, we're going to bring them on just loose them. And so we are honored that uh, Apostle James Anthony Woods with us. And we're going to bring him on right here. There he is, the mighty man of God. How are you, brother? Blessings. Blessings to you, Bishop. We love you and Lady Di so much. Amen. <laughs> We give honor to the Spirit of the Lord. Give honor to my wife as well, Lady Lili. Amen. And we give honor to all the saints of the Most High God. We just decree and declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we choose to rejoice in it. Amen. This is my brother from another mother. Ah. <laughs> and, uh, I love this man dearly. And he's, he's uh, likewise. He's, we sure. have, we have, when we talk, we, we go deep in the Spirit. And, uh, I love to talk the things of God with this man, and he's a blessing in my life personally, and I know he's going to bless you today. And so we're going to get into it. Please share the broadcast. Get it out there. Let us go. Uh, this is uh, this is only our second broadcast back now since we've taken two months off. And so thank you again for joining in. I know sometimes when you take time off, people forget you out of sight, out of mind. So like we're building from the beginning again but that's okay i'm not afraid of starting from nothing and god always starts something from nothing and so we're glad that you're here tonight and we're glad that apostle james is here and i just asked him if he'd share the word of the lord with us this is the word on wednesday and uh this sunday night we'll be doing a special women's broadcast my wife will be leading that broadcast and uh we have mama ruth we have stephanie we have felicity um we have a we have a power pack panel there and uh, Vanessa Fleming's on. We got four or five women on that are gonna tear it up. And so I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna just sit back on Mother's Day and let them do their thing, Joe. And so. Hey, that sounds great. That is gonna be powerful. Yeah, yeah I think it, I think it'll be great. It'll be uh, Veronica's on. It'll it'll be good. So, so right now we got we got people on here. Want to want to speak? Dan Bailey. Dan's mom is really really low. She's probably on her last few hours, and so we just. Amen send our our uh, blessing and our peace and strength to Dan and his wife and their family and uh, amen amen they just be able to enjoy this last few hours absolutely so, absolutely and so we love you Dan and bless you you're an important part of our night family yeah days and hours phase he just said so so we're standing with you Dan and and uh, you know precious is the the death in the sight of the Lord, the precious is the death of the saints in the sight of the Lord. So Amen. sometimes we know it's hard to lose people, but, but then when we release them into the arms of the Lord, we know they're no longer in suffering. And so we're, we're thankful that your mom, she's been suffering for a long time. And so but we just speak life in you today, Dan, and your family, and just uh, speak the peace of God right now that passes all your understanding and, and even strengthen your mom in these last few moments, last few hours. We pray that you just uh, you just minister to her today. And and ninety three years and ninety four years. I mean, she's she's had an amazing life. And uh, I just want to honor you today, Dan. You've been an amazing son, and you've you've done all that you can. You've taken you've taken care of her these last few years, and. And you've been such a blessing to her, and you've you've been an amazing son, and I, I believe the Lord is well pleased with you today. So, I just want to speak that blessing over you at the very beginning, and uh, so we love you. You're part of our night family, and we care about people more than anything. So, I mean, that's that's important that we start off with this, just speaking life into your spirit, Dan, and strength of God. And so we love you dearly, my friend. I, I was with Dan just a couple months ago in Florida. We're going to be together again in a couple months. And uh, so we're looking forward to being together. So, John, take it away. Good to have you on, brother. Glory Amen. Be to Amen. We're not Amen. No, shaka. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just concur with everything that Bishop has said. And we definitely honor the spirit of the Lord. We honor Bishop and Lady Di and all of the saints of the Most High God. I appreciate all of you coming on. 
um, giving us support. Thank you for your comments, likes, and shares. We know that uh, sharing is caring, amen. <laughs> so go ahead and share the broadcast, amen. Share the love of Jesus Christ. And that's why we are here. Um, the Lord has given me a specific assignment um, upon this week that I want to share uh, with the people of God. And so I just thank you for your prayers. I thank you for um, your, your support in so many ways that we could not have made it um, even to this place without the prayers of the righteous. Amen. And I want to actually go to the book of Ruth. I know many of you have taught out of the book of Ruth before. Many of you um, are probably experts even more than I, but the Lord gave me a specific word from the book of Ruth and also from 2 Samuel chapter 15. And it's very interesting, amen, uh, the, the, the angle that the Lord uh, told me interesting as we were, you know, ministering to, to Dan and, you know, there's some other people I know who have uh, recently been just taking care of loved ones, amen, who are in critical care and critical condition. And sometimes it's very challenging in how we deal with what is called loss. And what better account can we have than uh, the book of Ruth, amen, of how to actually, how to deal with some things that we just do not understand. And what the Lord wanted me to, to really address um, during this particular session is that we have a duality about us individually. There is a side of you that is very much my God, like a Ruth, amen? But then there also is a side of us all that is very much like an Orpa. And when we suffer, oh. I feel the glory of God on this broadcast, oh. hallelujah. And it's very interesting, amen, because when we suffer loss, you know, loss always leaves us in a place of a decision. And sometimes, you know, the decision is difficult and we have to say, well, Lord, what, what from here from this point on what happens and so we're going to address that on today and so i'm going to see if i can actually uh you know pull up the scripture uh for us amen and see if it can work and if not i could just uh do some read on teaching <laughs> amen but you all can tell me if you all can see uh the screen can you all see the screen amen glory to god Let's just pull it up. How's that? Okay. Can you? All right. And so it says in uh in Ruth, glory to God, Ruth, the first chapter, it says, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife was Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malan and Kylan, Ephrathites of Bethlehem, Judah. And they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died. Glory to God. Amen. There was something that happened in this particular place, amen, that they were not expecting. Amen. Elimelech died. Amen. And she was left and her two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Orpah and the name of the other Ruth. And they dwelt there about 10 years. Then both Malan and Kylan also died. So the women survived her two sons and her husband. And so we are encountering something here that is very interesting. Amen. We're dealing with a situation where this particular woman, this amazing woman, is suffering loss on every side. And when you begin to suffer loss on every side, you can begin to think in a certain way. You can begin to say, Lord, is this, <laughs> is this something I'm doing wrong? Amen. Is it something, what is going on? Why are all these things uh, seemingly happening at this particular time? And it causes us to ask some questions. Amen. And so Naomi, not only did she lose her husband, Elimelech, but she eventually also lost, amen, Malan and Kylan, and she's left with these daughters-in-law. And now the question becomes, okay, what now? What now? And many of you are in this position, even in this season, you are at a what now stage in your life. Lord, what do I do? Where do I go? 
what what should I, you know, just Lord, what is going on? I need your help. Amen. Hallelujah. And so in that sixth verse, it says, then she arose with her daughters in law that she might return from the country of Moab. For she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Therefore, she went out from the place where she was and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. And Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest each in the house of her husband. So she kissed them. Glory to God. And they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, surely we will return with you to your people. Now, I want to stop there for a moment. There's something very specific that the Lord is highlighting for us there. Notice Orpah and Ruth at that particular time, they were speaking as one. They were on one accord. They're like, uh-uh, we're hearing from the Lord together. We know, my God, that we're connected with you. And see, this is why it's so important to know your God-given assignment, regardless of what may die on the way. Just because something dies on the way, it does not necessarily change your particular assignment. Now, it, it affects your soul without question, but it does not change that assignment. And many of us are in that position because not only are we dealing with a natural death, but many of you are dealing with relational death. You're dealing with people who walk with you in the prior season, but they're no longer walking with you in this season. And you say, Lord, no. what am I going to do? Do I just kiss them and send them on their way? Amen. <laughs> but God has a way of dealing with the Ruth and the orpa on the inside of each and every one of us. Now, at this Amen. stage in the scripture, glory to God, Orpah and Ruth were speaking as one person. They were on one accord, but we're going to see what happens. Amen. And so she kissed them. Amen. And see, your destiny will kiss you. So good. Hallelujah. Your Naomi will kiss you. The Lord will kiss you. Remember in Song of Songs, amen, it says, kiss me with the kisses of your mouth, amen. And so the Lord loves us. He has relationship with us. A kiss actually signifies covenant, amen. Yeah. And so Naomi is saying, I am in covenant with you all. Now, this is something that, now we have such a mature audience, and I love this. And this is an aspect of hearing from God that I really want all of you to understand. God, many times, he challenges what's on the inside of us. So many times when he introduces us to, a, to covenant with him, a lot of times he challenges us by saying, okay, do you want to go back home? You know, and many times people don't understand that aspect of how God will interrogate us. God is not trying to confuse you, but he's just challenging what's on the inside of you to make sure that you understand what you are getting yourself into. Amen. <laughs> and see, Naomi kissed them. So really, that is a symbolism of covenant that, hey, you are welcome with me, but I'm going to ask you a question. Is this really what you want? And at that particular time, glory to God, those two women, they were in agreement. But we're going to find out something is going to change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Something is going to change. But Naomi said, turn back, my daughters. Why would you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Oh, God. Hallelujah. See, see, she is she's posing a question. <laughs> she's not telling them, she's not commanding them to leave, but she's posing a question. And she's saying, are there sons in my womb? And this is what the Lord is saying on tonight. Many of you that are watching on tonight, there are literally sons in your womb, that your womb is not dead. See, oh my God, your spiritual womb is not dead. Even though things outside of you may have died, your spiritual womb is yet activated and your spiritual womb is yet going to give birth to what God has seated on the inside of you. And many times, hallelujah, 
Many times you can be expecting and not even know it. Many times a woman wow. has gone one and two and, you know, tr trimester and not even realizing that she was expecting. See, many of you are about to abort something and you don't even know that you're expecting. You don't even know that you've been impregnated by something. That just because things outside of you are dying, the Lord is saying your womb is yet anointed. Your spiritual womb, the wow. thing that God is using to birth something Power. great into the earth realm. Glory to God. And there are sons. See, see, Naomi may have lost natural things, but she never lost the spiritual thing. Right. See, if you look at her situation, you would have been like, oh, my God, I need to get away from her. I need to leave Naomi's ministry because Naomi's ministry is dying. <laughs> Naomi's ministry is uh, is going in reverse. Go Naomi's ministry is going in counterclockwise. But God, hallelujah, there is something alive somewhere Woo! inside of you. If you're hearing this right God. now, you are not dead. I'm receiving this. See, God is not dead. Hallelujah. Yep. Right. And guess what? You are not dead either. And I'm your spirit, <laughs> hallelujah, your yeah. womb. I don't care Come if on. you're a man or tonight. You have Come a on. spiritual womb, yeah. glory to God, that God is going to use to birth something, to Come birth on. a son that Come is on. going to come forth yeah. in the next season yeah. of yeah. your life. But people have to discern it. People have to be a ruth, amen. Because if the Orpha side of you rises up, Amen. The Orpha side of you may just turn around. Somebody wow. say down, Orpha, down. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. So mm -hmm. Naomi said, turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Wow. Are there still sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn back, my daughters. Go, for I am too old to have a husband. Mm -hmm. If I should have, I have hope. If I should have a husband tonight and should also bear sons, would you want them till would you wait on them until they're grown? Would you restrain yourselves from having husbands? No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. But you know what? Even Naomi didn't understand that the hand of the Lord was not gone out against her. See, that's why it's so important for us to discern what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we can curse ourselves and we can even tell ourselves and other people, well, the Lord is no longer with me because look at the things that are happening. Now, are you looking in the natural or are you looking in the spirit? On, because yeah. if, if she would have been looking into the spirit, she would have seen that nothing was really dead at all. And a lot of times they, that as a matter of fact, she was at the greatest place in her life. Yes, the greatest place. You can say, well, how could you say that, Pastor Jane? How could you say she's in the greatest place of her life? She lost her husband, Elimelech. She lost Kylan. She lost, my gosh, she lost Malin. Glory to God. See, a lot of times what, what the Lord is doing is he's challenging you through his kiss. My God, sometimes the Lord would give you a kiss challenge. Amen. He will say, okay, I'm blessing you, but I want to now see if you are going to see into the spirit or if you're going to judge your situation according to the natural things that are going on. Because according to the natural, yes, you should quit. According to the natural, yes, you should give up. According to the natural, yes, you should turn around. According to the natural, no, you should not minister anymore. But in the realm of the spirit, if you can see your womb, look into the spirit on tonight and see your womb on tonight. And if you can see your womb, you can see that there are sons in your spiritual womb. And when we say sons, we're not always just talking about people. Amen. We're talking about the promise of God. The promise of God is a son. Amen. Uh, destiny is a son that is in your womb. Mm -hmm. The glory can even be a son within your spiritual womb, but you have to see it and you have to look at these things through a spiritual eyes. You have to look at them through the eyes of Ruth and not through yeah. the eyes of Orpha. Because if you look at it through the eyes of Orpha, then there's a reason for you to turn around. Now, let's see what happens here. People of God, this is so exciting. I like the way Amy, Amy put it on here, Josh. She put Orpha goes back to familiar, but Ruth jumps obediently into the unknowns. Come but, on, come on. Ju let's jump into some unknowns. Okay? Well, I need to share this broadcast, get it out, sow into this shaka, this word. Ooh, rabba, rabba, word shata, hallelujah. Anointing on here. Listen, one of the things. One of the things about Apostle James is that is that many people that are apostles are also teachers. They're apostolic teachers. They have a strong teaching ministry. And so 
this man, he's, he's got a strong teaching ministry, but he's also his career is he's a teacher at a high school. Amen. And, uh, and so he's, he, you're getting double for your troubles. What I'm saying today, you're getting double because he's apostolic teacher. Yes. But he's also a teacher in his career and, but he's an apostolic teacher in his calling. Oh, come on. Yeah. Doc. Come, come on. on. Hallelujah. Come oh, on. That one. Shaka. Hey, man. Come on. Shaka. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. We love the word of God. about their career and they're not worried about the calling. Come on, glory. Oh, God. my God. Come, come on. on. Rock you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, keep going. I'm here to listen to you, not to me. Oh, that's I want good. you to so share, love, heart, do whatever you can. Get it out there. <laughs> And, hey, uh, this man. Is our Keep going. hey man hey man praise god hey man and then this, the word of god goes on to say hey, amen then they lifted up their voices and wept again yeah. and so we're talking about orpha and root but something very interesting happens here there's a shift there's a shift and it says and orpha kissed yeah. her mother-in-law but ruth clung to her my God. Mama, there, CB, yeah, my God, my God, see, you got to be careful what's kissing you, amen, because everything that's kissing you is not going to stay with you. Wow. Everything that's complimenting you is not going to stay with you. Everything that's patting you on the back is not ah. going to stay with you. See, Orpah kissed her, but it was a kiss of departure. See, some people that kiss you, they really kiss you. They say, you know what? Because I'm about to leave. I'm about to go back. Amen. Hallelujah. But they were just they were just saying how they were going to stick with you. They were just saying how they would never leave you nor forsake you. They were just saying, my God, that 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 you helped get them saved and you helped yeah, 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 get yeah, them yeah. delivered and oh you you God. cast the devil out of them. But they kissing you. Uh, be careful of the Orpa kiss. My God, the kiss of Orpa. Glory to God. <laughs> my God, the kiss of Orpa. But the word of God says, Ruth clung. Um, do we have some clingers on tonight? Amen. You do, my God, you're clinging. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to cling to Naomi. Glory to God. You got to cling to the promise of God. You got to cling to the hope. You got to cling to the calling. You got to cling to the glory. You got to cling to the healing. You got to cling to the word. You got to cling. Do we got any clingers on tonight? Glory to God. Cling, cling, cling. My God, sometimes it ain't always time for kissing. My God, sometimes it's time for clinging. Glory to God. See, Orpah was kissing. While Orpah was kissing, you know, Judas was kissing too, amen. I want, I want everybody to do what Amy just put. I, I want you to put in that in that box right there. Put, but I'm a clinger. Come on, I'm a clinger. Like, come on, I'm a clinger. Hallelujah. You got to cling on. You, you need to take hold of that which takes hold of you. Come on, John. something. That's happens. right. And somebody said it too. Judas, Judas right. kissed Jesus, but yeah. John rested his head on his chest. My God. Yeah. I said, My God, go go ahead. My God, she anointed on tonight. My God, you got to be a clinger. My God, and, that, and that's what we need in this time. We need people who will cling to Naomi, who will cling to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Who ain't trying to just, my God, because some people, see, they, they kissing, but in their heart, my God, they, they, they're going back. Amen. And so Orpah had, had made up her mind, my God. And so each and every one of us, see, we have a Ruth on the inside of us, and we have an Orpah. Oh my God, and which side of you is going to manifest? Amen. Is it going to be the side of you that wants to go back? Amen. Is it going to be the side of you that's just going to kiss your destiny and say, yeah. you know what, this is too much for me, or ministry is too much for me, or, 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 or you know, doing all this stuff is too much for me. I'm just tired yeah. of this right now. Yeah. Or are you going to be a roof? Hallelujah. I will cling to you, Jesus. I will cling to you. Hallelujah. Come on. We need some clingers on tonight. Amen. That re regardless of what is going on. Hallelujah. We need some people that will hold on. Amen. Hold to his hand yeah. to God's God unchanging hand. Come, hand. On. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to cling so in this good. season. And then oh. and then she said, look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and yeah. to her gods. Return yeah. after your sister-in-law. My yeah. God, see, that's see, that's dangerous. Not only did Orpah go back to her people, but Orpah literally went back to her gods. My yeah. God. Orpah, yeah. not only did she backslid, she left the, my God, she left the religion altogether. Amen. She went back to serving idols. Glory to God. She went back to serving demons. Amen. You got to be careful. Amen. Hallelujah. That when you make a decision to back up, when you make a decision Ooh. to counterclockwise, amen, you're not in control anymore. That's an avalanche that you are not steering. Amen. 
You don't steer demons. They steer you. You don't have them on a leash. They have you on a leash. My wow. God, when Orpah left, my God, those demons took her by the uh, by by a leash, amen. And yeah. you never heard of her again, my God. My yeah. she didn't just go back to her people, yep. but she went back to those yeah. gods. She yeah. went back to those demons. <laughs> oh, something's happening. John. My God, she went back to demon spirits. You got to be careful when you turn around, when you back yeah. up, amen. But yeah. Ruth had some discernment going on. Ruth was like, uh-uh, I don't understand everything, <laughs> but I know I need to cling. And mm -hmm. this is where she made this very popular and famous declaration, amen, that's very prophetic, amen. Glory to God. She said, number one, entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. This is what we need to say. This is a prophetic declaration that we all need to say right now in this now season, glory to God. Entreat me, Lord, not to leave you, nor to turn back from following you. Because if I go back, amen, I may not get back, glory to God. If yeah. I go back, glory to God, there may be something very interesting that's going to, I may just go back to those gods. I may go back to that sin again. I may go back to that abomination. I may go back to the iniquity, but I need to say, for wherever you go, I will go. Hallelujah. We used to sing a song that says, I will go in Jesus' name. But wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God my God, your God, my God, your God, my God. See, Ruth understood that if I leave Naomi right now, that even my relationship with God is at stake. My God, we need to understand, hallelujah, how precious it is to have a relationship with the living God, how right, precious right. it is to hold on to Jesus, how precious it is to understand that this in this man. moment, I'm not going to forsake. I know I'm going through some turmoil in my mind. I know I'm going through some things I do not understand, but I'm going to cling. I'm going to say, Lord, entreat me not to leave you. Entreat me never to turn around. Allow me to go, Jesus, wherever you go. I understand I'm seated in the heavenly places because of you. Don't let me abort the plan of God on my life. And where you die, I will die. Jesus went to the cross, but so did I. I was crucified with the Lord. So when he died, I died. But when he rose, I rose because I am with him wherever he goes. And there will I be buried. Buried in baptism. Hallelujah. When we're baptized, we are buried with the Lord. How are you buried with him? And the Lord do so to me and more also if anything but death parts you and me. And that is a power declaration. And it went on to say when she saw that she was determined to go with her, she stopped speaking to her. So in other words, she knew. And at that moment, Ruth knew that this girl wasn't playing around. I mean, Naomi, excuse me. Naomi knew that Ruth wasn't playing around, amen. She knew, and many of you, the Lord knows that you are determined. And I just want to make this last statement. Let's just go over to 2 Samuel chapter 15. My God, the Lord said, talk a little bit about Itaia. Amen. Some of you may not have ever even heard of Itai. Amen. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about Itai. Amen. Itai was a Hittite. Amen. Hallelujah. It's spelled I-T-T-A-I. Itai. And this is in 2 Samuel. Hallelujah. Like yeah. Chapter 15. Italian, Hallelujah. Though. Ooh, my sounds Italian, glory to God. <laughs> Sound like spaghetti I, and meatballs. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I need you, I need you to sew right now. Sew in this. Right here. If you're getting something from this word, I want you to sew into it. My come this is powerful. You don't get to just on every day, on every broadcast. And you're getting to hear because God cares so much about you. He cares. You're the word of God. Yes. I mean we know we can prophesy the paint off the wall, but yes. people need people need proper teaching because yes. people people can't live their life on a prophetic word. They got to live That's their right. life on the word of God. That's so we're right. getting the word of God today by a by a great teacher in the Lord, an apostolic okay. teacher. And so so just continue on, Jaw, and uh, get that seed in the ground today. Come on, share the broadcast. Love, heart, 
do whatever you need to do. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And well, we know in 2 Samuel chapter 15, there was a man by the name of Absalom. And, and let me tell you, Absalom was the son of David. And this is what the Lord is, is showing me, that, that many people have been hurt, amen, even by your own sons, by people from your own house, people from your own spiritual house, amen, that when you were at your weakest and you needed their support, amen, instead of supporting you, amen, they were plotting. I thought I was mm -hmm. My God. God. And Absalom, my God, hallelujah, he was plotting against the sweet psalmist of Israel, David, his mm -hmm. father. And while his father was going through some situations, amen, Absalom, he positioned himself at the gate, amen. And let me tell you what Absalom was doing, amen. Absalom, glory to God, he literally positioned himself out of there. Let's go to 2 Samuel, hallelujah, chapter 15, verse 1. And it came to pass after this that Absalom prepared him chariots and horses and 50 men to run before him. And Absalom rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate. And it was so that when any man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, then Absalom called unto him and said, of what city art thou? And he said, thy servant is one of the tribes of Israel. And Absalom said unto him, see, thy matters are good and right, but there is no man de deputed of the king to hear thee. Absalom said, moreover, oh, that I were made judge in the land, that every man which hath any suit or cause might come unto me, and I would do him justice. And it was so that when any man came nigh to him to do him obeisance, he put forth his hand and took him and what? Kissed him. My God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Somebody said the kiss of Orpha. My God. <laughs> My God. The kiss of Orpha was still going on. Amen. Absalom was kissing the people that didn't even belong to him. You know what he was doing? Because he was trying to win their hearts. Not everybody that kiss you, amen. It, not every kiss is a kiss of covenant, amen. Not every kiss, amen, is a kiss of the anointing. Not every kiss is a glory kiss, amen. There are some kiss, amen, where some people are trying to win your heart, amen. But they're not trying to win your heart for a godly purpose. They're trying to win your heart to turn you against your authority, to turn you against against what you are supposed to be loyal to. The, the word of God said, the, 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 I hear the Lord saying, be loyal to the royal. Be loyal to the royal. Yeah. That means whatever God has, whatever path of duty the Lord has given you, be loyal to that. Glory to God. And yeah. so then it goes on. Now check this out. We're going to go down again a little bit. We're going to skip down a little bit. Amen. And we're going to go all the way down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. To where it begins to talk about this particular man called Etai. We're going to go all the way down to the 19th verse. Amen. It says, then said the king to Etai, the Hittite. Now, if you know anything about the Hittites, the Hittites were traditionally enemies of the Jewish people. And so David was very suspicious of Etai. You know, and so 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 uh, David begins to interrogate Etai, and he says, "Wherefore goest thou also with us?" In other words, why are you with us? You know, why are you over here? What is your real plan? What's really in your heart? Are you here to sabotage us? Why are you here? You're you're a Hittite. He says, "Return to thy place and abide with the king." For thou art a stranger and also an exile. So David was not recognizing this man as somebody who was going to be loyal, but he was actually recognizing him as a stranger. And what is the Lord saying in this moment? The Lord is saying that he is going to send strangers that are going to be loyal to you in wow. this season, even when people of your own house betrayed you. David was dealing with one of the greatest betrayals of his life in his son Absalom overthrowing him. Amen. But little did David know that God was raising up someone by the name of Itai, who was of a strange land, who would actually demonstrate loyalty unto David in that very delicate season. Uh, and then it goes on to say, whereas thou camest, but yesterday, glory to God, should I this day make thee go up and down with us, seeing I go whither I may? Return thou and take back thy brethren. Mercy and truth be with you. But this is what, now this is powerful. Then I'm going to be done right here. This is what Etai said. And Etai answered the king and said, as the Lord liveth 
and as my Lord the King liveth, surely in what place my Lord the King shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will thy servant be. And David said to Itai, go and pass over. Amen. Hallelujah. And Itai passed over. David was shooken in that moment. He was really shaken because Itai, the stranger, was demonstrating the same loyalty, glory to God, that Ruth had demonstrated to Naomi, glory to God. And so in that moment, David was literally shot because while his son had betrayed him, Glory to God. God was raising up a complete stranger to show such a strong level of dedication to him that David had to just say, you know what? Just go ahead and pass over because this has to be God. For you to show that level of loyalty is actually healing. And I believe God used Itai to even heal an aspect of David that had been lost through the betrayal of his son. So what is the Lord saying to the people of God on tonight? that which side of you amen is going to rise up in this season is it going to be the orpa side or is it going to be the roof side and i believe it's going to be the roof side amen i believe that you're going to be a clinger and not just a kisser glory to god because absalom was kissing too but absalom was kissing people for the wrong reason he was he was asking people for a false loyalty but Itai, amen, this Hittite, he demonstrated an amazing loyalty that was unexpected. And the Lord is saying, many of you are going to encounter people. And some of these people are going to be from other nations. Some of these people are going to live thousands and thousands of miles or kilometers from where you are. But they're going to demonstrate an amazing loyalty to you. And you're going to remember this word. And you're going to say, Itai, glory to God. And, you, and they're going to say, as the Lord lives and as my Lord, the king lives, surely in what place my Lord, the king shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will thy servant be. They're going to be people who are going to be so loyal that they say, you know what, even if you die, I'm going to be loyal to you. Now, that's powerful right there, because usually we look at death as something final. But when someone can say like Itai and like Ruth that wherever you live and wherever you die, I'm going to be right there. That's the type of loyalty that is being released in this season. So don't allow the loss of the past, amen, to be your identity. But know that God is faithful and his faithfulness is going to cover you. And God is also going to bring human beings. He's going to bring, bring faithful people to you like Itai and like Ruth. Amen. God bless you on tonight. I, I mean, that was a powerful word, John, because because it's easy to it's easy to be in relationship with people when everything's going good. Yes, yes. But you know what? I know who my I know who my friends are when things are going good, but I know who my brothers are when things are going bad. There we go. Amen. What does Pro Proverbs say? A, a brother. A brother. Is there at times of adversity. That's right. That's right. A friend, not all time, but a brother is there at times of adversity. At times of adversity. Amen. And, and uh, Ruth and Naomi had an incredible covenant relationship. Yes, they did. And they said, they said to each other, listen, your God is my God. You die, I'll die. I mean, I'm, uh, you go, I'll go. My God. And what is really lacking in some areas of Come on, Bishop. Church Come on. today yep. Yep. in Christianity is covenant relationship. Yeah. Oh, well, I do something that upsets you, so you just walk away. Well, that's that's not. That's not biblical, even. It's you know, not. It's not. You need, you need to stick out. I mean, anybody that knows me, John, you know this. My number one value in my life loyalty. is my loyalty. Loyalty. I mean, I'm loyal to a fault. I'm loyal to, like, when I when I give you my word, I'm I'm there. I I stick Amen. with people. Amen. Because because I believe God brings people into my life for a reason, and so. If we're gonna to walk together, I'm looking for covenant relationship, not yes. convenient friendship. Yes. Oh, Come on. And that's biblical, Bishop. That's that's yeah. biblical. And this is why we need the word to be taught. Right. Because we have a generation of young people that are powerful, that are so prophetic, but yeah. they're just they're not sound. And right. I'm telling you, anything that happens in life, boom, 
They're like, well, God told me to leave. God told me to, God told me to, God told me, God told me, God told me. And you really can't. And see, when my Ooh. wife and I, we, we talk about this all the time. When somebody says, God said, we like, well, yep, my you know, hands are off. Right, right, my hands are off. If yep, God said, I, I hear you, you know, but, but, but we know, <laughs> you know, but we still, we pray for the person. But see, this is why teaching is so important because if you were with Naomi or David at that time, you would have been like, oh, there's no way I'm going to stick with you because this must be demonic, yeah. you know? And that's what people, we don't stick with people because we like, well, something must be wrong. Amen. But guess what? Things turned around for both of them, didn't it? Right. Yeah. And see, those people, they benefited because they discerned past that present time. So you got to really be able to discern past that present time and you have to be built for adversity yourself. Mm -hmm. See, that's really what it comes down to. We, we live in a time where people are not, they're not willing to go through adversity for someone else because they don't feel like it's God. But see, that's why you need the word of God. Yeah. You and know? then sometimes, John, you understand this as, a, as an absolute leader, is that if we need to confront people sometimes, yep. you know, they just, yep. they just run away because it's easier for them to run away because then they don't have to deal with their stuff. Yep. Yep. And, yep. and that's not biblical. It's not. It's not. I mean, the if, if people were under true apostolic authority, then then they would understand that we have their best interest in mind. It's not that we want to. Huh. I like Ooh. to put it this way, Joe. We don't let want to control them. We want to patrol them. Come on, come on. You know. Oh my, oh my. Because we've all been under controlling leadership before, but yeah. but people got to understand. We want to patrol. We want to help you set you on that path where you need to go. Yep. And the yep. greatest ministry flows out of relationship. Out of relationship. I know at any time, Ja, mm -hmm. that I can mm -hmm. call you and yep. I if I need you to come on, you'll just say yes because we're yep. in relationship. Yeah. Yep. It's not a, it's not about what can I do for you, what can you do for me? It's Absolutely. About, it's about covenant relationship. Mm -hmm. And so it's a joy. Anytime I anytime I get to talk to you or be with you online or do anything. I mean it's a joy for me. It's a because right. We're walking in a relationship. We're building as brothers, mm -hmm. and and so many people, especially especially now in the online world, come on, have got away from the actual relational side because they yes. can stick a comment up there. They don't have to be mm -hmm. accountable. They just stick a comment out there. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Come on. Yep. yep. And, and so yep. when yep. we teach the word of God, that's why people people need more than just prophecy. They need to hear today. Yeah. Like we heard yep. about the power of relationship, the power of walking together. <laughs> the power ba, 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 and, there, and, and I mean, you hit, you hit so many things. I mean, I was receiving, I'm going to go back and watch this word again because it was so powerful. There's so much, it was so okay. loaded. Sometimes you hear things and you miss things. It was I, loaded. I need to go back and listen to it again because this was so loaded with stuff today. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'm getting seed in the ground on this word. My God, I said, I said, my, my God, father, that's a word in season. I receive it because we know there's always Absaloms that are trying to rise up against you. Yeah. yeah. There's always the Orpah. Yeah. There's always the Roost. There's yeah. always, yeah. always these different things. Yeah. And we got to, we got to be aware in the body of Christ of what's happening out there. And so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and people happy. kissing, like you said, and the kissing. I don't know why, oh. you know, the you, you have to be so careful of people who will compliment you. You know, but then, you know, in, in the season, they can't discern your adversity. And, and as soon as you're going through, don't get sick. You'll really find out who, who's with you then, you know, or, or, or don't stop prophesying. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you, if you dare stop prophesying, you'll lose 90 percent of the people, yeah. you know. Uh, but but the Lord wants to know, can we discern our covenant partners adversity? Right. Yeah. Because really your adversity is really my challenge. Right. Because your adversity is not just something you're going through. It's also a test for me to yep. see if I'm going to stick through it or if I'm going to abandon you so in your season of need. See, I want to talk about how much Jesus I have. Yeah. But yet when people really need me, am I there or am I saying what well, Jesus told me to go over here and do this? You know, how much of Jesus is that really? You know, and so, so you good. know, Ruth and Naomi, I mean, that, and look at what happened. Look at the fruit that yeah. came forth out of that. And they both had every reason. Hear me, people of God. They had every reason, according to the natural, to give up. 
Right. David yeah. had David had a broken heart. Yeah. And at Tai, I'm gonna tell you what. Can I just give you a secret, real quick, people of God? And it's so simple. You know how to really heal somebody? Say something and mean it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just say these words again that come straight from the Word of God. Mm. It says, "As the Lord lives, and as my Lord the King lives." Surely in what place my Lord, the King shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will thy servant be. I'm going to challenge the people of God. Who have you said that to in your life? Mm -hmm. Who have you said that to? <laughs> if you have not dedicated, if you have not, oh, I know I'm, see, this is the apostle coming out of his now you're meddling, right? <laughs> I'm meddling. See, now I know, I, see, I, know <laughs> I, I know you have your salvation. And I know you've made this commitment to God, but I'm yeah. talking about human beings now. See, this yeah. is where y'all, you know, y'all not gonna like me on tonight, but I don't care. I don't got nothing to lose. <laughs> what human beings are you committed to? Amen. Yeah. And see, this is why divorce is rampant in yeah. the in globally, yeah. because it's a spirit, yeah. amen. Yeah. It's a spirit of not being able to discern covenant. See, we, we can discern our, our vertical, but we are losing when it comes to the losing when it comes to the horizontal because we cannot discern it and guess what the horizontal changes <laughs> from for some people from week to week <laughs> each day. for each day but do you want to blame everybody else oh this person's controlling or it's my time and they holding me everybody, they holding me back <laughs> holding me back holding me back holding me back look nobody can hold you back you can go to walmart and minister <laughs> my God, you can minister at, at the gas station. Nobody's holding you back. My God, you, you can go outside and minister to your neighborhood that you haven't ministered to. Nobody's no, holding God. you back. Sometimes no. people just want to be popular and get an offering and call that ministry. Amen. Yeah. But that's not ministry. But, but what Ruth did and what Itai did, that is ministry. Because you know what? There, there was nothing for them naturally to gain. Mm -hmm. They weren't looking for what they could get out of it. They were just like, you know what? I discern this is the right thing. And guess what? If if you die, now that's powerful right there. If you die, I'm not going to rejoice because you're dead. I'm going to be right there with you. And, and that's symbolic, meaning that, you know, you don't have to worry about me leaving you. You don't have to worry about me leaving you. I'm going to be there. And guess what? Guess who wants to hear that? The Lord wants to hear that. Yeah. The Lord wants us to say that, you know, come come height or death, Lord, I'm going to be there for you yeah. because we want him to be there for us. Yeah. But yeah. are we going to be there for him? Are sure. you willing to be a martyr? Check this out. Are you willing to be a martyr for the Lord? Yeah. But are you also willing to be a martyr for the people of God? I know I'm meddling. No. Are, you willing, are you willing? Are you willing to be a martyr for somebody? Glory to God. That is a is, man, woman. Of God. Is, they don't. People don't sew into this kind of teaching. They like some no. prophetic word, but they don't no. sew into this stuff because this this is life changing. I mean, it's life changing. I mean, people have no idea. Bishop, the things the we have been through. Life. My God, the things that we have been through, people have no hmm. idea. They have no idea. And you I, know, I sat for I, hours on the phone, sharing with each other, crying yes. with each other, yes. laughing with each other. But but no matter what, I mean. You've been through some tough stuff since we've known each other. Oh my God! Just and some things. Earth, but we're we're here for each other. We know at any time, at any moment. Absolutely, I can absolutely. Pick up the phone and say, okay, Ja, like I, I listen. I've I've realized something, Ja. We're better together. We're better together because a lot of people are trying mm -hmm. to make islands of themselves, and they think that they can do ministry together. I, listen, I can't do ministry without you, Ja. No, nope, I can't do it without you. You know what it's called? It's unsanctified independence. Wow. Unsanctified isolation Jeez. and unsanctified idleness. Oh. That's what we're dealing with in this generation. Yeah, that's serious. You know, this this people are independent, but now there is a sanctified independence that God him, the spirit of the Lord may lead you into, but many people are operating in an unsanctified independence. That means they independent, but God didn't tell them to do it independently. Glory to God. <laughs> or they, they have an unsanctified idleness. You know, if a person's idle, amen. And even the word of God says we're going to give an account for every idle word. My God. And so you, people just saying stuff, you know, no purpose, no, just, just saying stuff. Amen. But what we heard of today from Ruth, not from me, but from Ruth and Atei, that 
yeah. is the word of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. So good. So true because we need it. I'll tell you. Wow. Amen. Amen. But the people, you need to go back and watch this broadcast and just get this stuff in your spirit. I mean, this is this is deep, deep teaching. This is, deep, this is deeper life teaching right here, Joe. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm just, I mean, Bishop, I, I love you so much, Bishop. I love Lady Di. I, I mean, I love you all. You showed out here, I thought. I love Lady Di so much. And I, I love the people of God. You know, so many of you that are on here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm trying not to cry, you all, okay. because you all know that it's yeah. not about being popular. Right. Come it's on. not about being known. Come on. You know, it's about the Lord and it's about what he desires, but to love each other. That's what the Lord wants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wants us to love each other. Yeah. He wants us to genuinely care about each other. He doesn't want us undermining each other. He didn't. He doesn't want us playing social mathematics with yeah. each other. You know, one day supporting somebody, one day not talking about each other behind each other's back. That's not the way of the Lord. Jesus. You know, if 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 I'm on here, if I'm on Bishop's broadcast, I'm supporting Bishop and ladies. I'm supporting at night. Amen. I mean. It, when, you, when you're with somebody, if you're a guest, if you're at somebody's conference, support what they're doing. You know, I was at a conference <laughs> and somebody literally was was at the conference, but they was having their own meeting at the same time the conference was going on. <laughs> so true. And calling that guy. You know, yeah. you... <laughs> I remember you know, we, but, <laughs> but it's it's time yeah, for us. I even if Tom draw down on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it's time for us to to not only love the Lord and receive His love, but to love one another genuinely. Amen. And you're going to see a manifestation of miracles that will come forth even as we love each other. You watch, Amen. Yeah. Even as we love each other, you're going to see a manifestation of miracles. Amen. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what we need, uh, Joe. We need a uh, a revolution of love, a love-evolution. Yep. Yes, a love-evolution. Come on, love-evolution. <laughs> we, I don't know. Just, we do. We, we need. We need that. a. We need a love-evolution. We need. You know, a lot of people need to be repenting to each other. You know, even if you have to initiate it. You know, it's whoever God brings to your spirit. You know, message them. Say, you know what? I repent. And you may be like, well, well, Apostle, I didn't do nothing to him. Just, just do it. Because it'll stir something up on the inside of them. Because God is about relationship. How can we as a body execute what the Lord wants us to execute if we're not in unity? Amen. You know, there's not a... The, heaven is not a... You know, I'm going I'm to be on the east side of heaven and you're going to be on the west side of heaven. You know? I mean, if we can't live down here together, how are we going to live? You know, we're just, we're, we're fooling ourselves. So let's, let's be unified. Let's operate in love. Amen. True love. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a, there's a minister job that I came across many years ago, sat under his ministry, came and ministered at our church here in Calgary. He's from uh, Chico, California. His name is Gaylord Enns, E-N-N-S. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a book. I just wrote, just looked it up. It's called Love Revolution, mm. Rediscovering the Lost Command of Jesus. And it's a powerful book. I have it. And uh, oh, the book is available in an audio book also. And so if you if you want to go to that, just go to Lev, Love Revolution. Um, let me see. I'll just give you the site. Amen. Because, because it's a great book to get. LoveRevolutionNow.org. And uh, we need we need that we need we need a revolution of love. There's so much stuff going on. People going through so much stuff right now. Yes, yes. I, I can't. I came back from holidays in Phoenix last week, and I'm so overwhelmed at all the stuff people are going through. I'm just like, oh, yeah. bother! I'm like, wow. It's I had it's a holiday because I feel I need another one now after <laughs> being home. <laughs> I know it's a lot, Bishop. It's a lot. You know, well, we really have to execute love and, and, and be there for one another and uh, support one another. And it's an honor for me to serve. Yeah. It's an honor. Yeah, it it really is. You know, I, I came out of a ministry where, you know, I, 
I cleaned toilets, I, I vacuumed the floor. I did all those things, amen. It wasn't, a, it wasn't about just having a microphone and prophesying or playing a saxophone or all those things. I mean, if I had to cut the grass, I cut the grass, you know, whatever it was that was called of me to do, yeah. you know, I was willing to do it. I didn't always necessarily want to do it, but I did it because God was building. There are many things in life we don't want to do, but we do. But we do. Paul says the very things I don't want to do, I do. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Paul says, uh, you know. Come on. And, Come uh, on. So, and, and, I and I believe that firmly that that many of us, as we love others, and specifically some people that we may not want to, that God is going to release something to us, even in this season. No, I, I, I just want I just want people to sow a love seed in the jar right now. If you love this oh, man, oh. I want you to I want you to sow. go to that broadcast right, go to that website right now, get some, show the man some love. You know what? We go into ministries, we say. Take a love, take a love offering. I get a lot of love some places, not much offering, Josh. Today we're gonna to try to love you. Glory be to oh, God. And love oh, offering. Glory be to God. Oh, if you want, if you want to look up that book, you can get it. Yeah, there it is. Lawrence just posted it. Love Revolution. That's the audio book. Um, you can pull it up on that. And uh, but I'm asking you, would you go to this website, please? Because we want to bless this man of God. This man of God, he never asks me for anything. If I give him something, he's thankful. If I don't give him something, I think he still loves me. And, oh, I uh, and, uh, I and, and uh, today, I, I, I'd, just like to, I'd just like to bless this man. I, I'm already yeah. sowing the seed. I told you I'd sow the seed. I'm already sowing seed into this because, because this is not only a powerful teaching, but the heart of this couple of uh, Lady Lily and Ja. I mean, I've, I've traveled the world. You don't meet many people that love, love on you more than these oh. folks. And I'm not making it up. It's for real. And people can always know they're gonna they're gonna always remember our sermons job but they're gonna remember our love more than anything they're gonna remember that and yeah. i love you all. we love you bishop you are just golden and i love the people dan we're praying for you brother dan my paula we love you mama ruth sister charlene yeah. you know i love you all so much you all yeah. are so precious you all are beautiful and and that's what it's all about you know i, I love god bless you Dr. George Blatz, we yep. love you so much. You know, yeah. Sister Primla, I mean, Veronica, we love the people of God. We do. We love you. And that's what it's all about. We all can prophesy. We all can be revelatory. Um, but we're going to have a love fest. Amen. It'll yeah. be a festival of love. Amen. And so I'm going to ask you, would you would you sow a love seed in the, in the Apostle James today? And uh, thank you. Someone just sowed there. Bless you today. And and uh, we want to we want to bless it. I I hear a lot of people say, "Yeah, we love you, we love you, we love." You. Well, put your put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. I don't I don't mind asking you because I, I'm putting my money in there too. I'm not asking you to do anything I wouldn't do myself. And and so okay. we're just we're just loving, we're just loving, we're loving. And because sharing is caring, but loving is loving. And so we can love people in a tangible way today. And it's not even about the amount, people. Right. It's just about obedience. There are many times you say, "Oh, I'd love, I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that." Listen, just do something today, okay? And and you don't even need to pray about it. You just need to sow. Just We're right. God to right. sow. It says be obedient. That's right. I, I laugh at people, John. They say, "Well, I need to pray." I'm gonna. You want to come Bishop, on the broadcast? Sweet. I need to pray about it. Well, I, if you need to pray about it, then I don't need you on the broadcast. Because Bishop, I, you stirring I, something I up? Have asked you. I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't feel you were you being you stirring something up, Bishop. You, you, me you messing us up. You messing us. Don't get. You know, this week. Let's, this let's go to. Let's go to mission. Let's go to missions trip. Oh, I got to pray about. It. No, you don't. The Bible says go into all the world. Come on. It already. That is your. That is your prayer right there. That's your prayer. You prayer has already been made. <laughs> How did you get that job? Well, let me tell you. This week you is. This is Teacher Appreciation Week, and let me hey. let me tell you something. And uh, one of my students, she blessed me so much because. That's I was awesome. not expecting this. And let me tell you the, the testimony behind this briefly. I have some amazing students. Yeah. And she didn't do so well on her last test. Yeah. You know, and I, I had to get on her a little bit, you know, because I was expecting more out of her. You know, and so she was the last person 
that I was expecting to actually give me something. But you know, she touched my heart so much today. Not just, I love Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> not just because it was Tim Hortons. No, no. <laughs> You know, I love, but, love the little Canada in Utah. <laughs> right. <Wow. laughs> and 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 but but it was what she said. She said, Senor Woods, they call me Senor, you know. Yeah. She was like, Thank you for pushing me and thank you for telling me the truth. And that's something that a lot of adults won't even say. Because yeah. if you you correct adults, adults are, you know, talk about you, leave the ministry, you know, scandalize your name. <laughs> yeah. And you just you just doing what the Bible says. The Bible says, my God, he rebukes us. He chases us. He corrects us. Amen. Absolutely. That's that's an aspect of love when it's done correctly. And yeah. I know I do it correctly, but sometimes people don't always respond that way. But this young lady, bless her heart. So I just Pray that God just bless her. And even as I'm holding this card, Lord, just touch her life. And yeah, I just yeah. release a miracle to yeah. her. In Jesus' mighty name. My people, I'm giving you an opportunity to sow a love seed today. You're not you're not waiting for a prophecy. You might get one, but I'm not I'm not asking you to get a prophecy and then sow. I'm asking you to sow right now. And because you need to sow where you want to go. If you want, if you want the love. Factor the love connection. Remember that show, the love connection. <laughs> I remember. And uh, okay, Charlene gave, Charlene gave on Cash App. I don't have that, so I can't give that way. But, uh, but uh, yeah, bless you. And so people are starting to give. Come on, get that love seed in the ground today. We just want to do something and uh, be a blessing to Apostle James today. What a word he's delivered. And and uh, you know, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk for a couple of minutes because I I really want us to know the power of getting a seed huh. the ground. Sure, Shata, hallelujah. Because, because if, if some people they'll say, oh, I'll I'll give a seed, I'll give a seed, and then they don't do it. You know, yep. you got to be people of our word. Yeah. I I was with I was today I was we were with some folks last week and we had to get to the airport quick and they had to go fill up the the gas tank and. I said, oh, I'll get your money. I'll get your money. And we just got so busy. We forgot today. I just, I just said, Hey, I'm sending you the money. I'll send it to you. Zell. I want to be a person of my word because we got to, we got to, yeah, yeah. listen, we got to do what we say and say what we do. Yes. And there's That's a lot right. of these online ministries are, they're, they're hocus pocus. I'm just going to call it what it is. <laughs> they're coming on here and they're Come saying, on, Bishop. They're, saying Come that. On. they're trying to, they're trying to mesmerize you by all this stuff they're saying, and there's there's not truth in it. Right. And the Word of God right. says the truth will set you free. The truth will set us free. And so, to me, if we don't, Doctor Premla, if we have ten people on a broadcast and I don't have hundreds watching, that's okay. I'm not doing it for the hundreds. I'm doing it for the tens. Amen. I'm doing it, I'm doing it for the ones. Listen, I've been doing this for a year and three months now. So obviously, I'm doing it no matter who's watching. Yes. And I know I know our impact is the world. I know we're shaking nations. There's many nations on here right now. We got Pakistan, India, Australia, New Zealand. Uh I saw I saw Norway on here, US, Canada. I mean, we got many nations on here right now even watching. And Amen. so I'm I'm asking you, will you sow a love seed in the Apostle James today? Because he, he never asked me to do it. I I feel such a stirring in my heart on this. I, I'm not even I'm not even sad for asking you right now i'm i'm asking you i'm i'm not i'm not even begging you i'm beckoning you right now will you sow a seed into this man of god because this is this is so real what you're getting and you don't get teaching like this on very many play broadcasts i'm sorry you get people trying to do this and do that but i'll tell you teaching is important yes it is because there's a lack of teaching right now yes, in the body of christ Yes, it is. So everybody's focused on this, focused on that. And thank you, someone so bless you. And and uh, we just, we need to teach, teach, teach. That's why Wednesdays, we're doing teaching. Sundays, we're doing, I can't even talk already. <laughs> and uh, and so, but, sun, but Wednesdays, we're teaching because we need to get the word of God into people. Some of you today got set free because you heard this word today. That's why you need to sow. If this word touched you today, sow. If this word touched you today, give right now in Jesus' name. Just get it in there. Hallelujah. Thank and, you, and Jesus. Just do it. See, we got whales on that. And so get, get this seed in the ground. Even before 
I mean, we'll pray for a few of you and prophesy, but get the seed in the ground now because you want to harvest. I know the seed I'm sowing, Josh. I'm I'm sowing sacrificially right now. I I don't want to give money away right now. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I need what I have right now. But Amen. but I said I heard the Lord say to me, "Don't you dare not sow into this word." So I'm going to sow wow. sacrificial seed. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, I'm I'm going to I'll tell you, I'm going to sow a fifty dollar seed right now. And some of you wow. can do a fifty dollar seed. You can do more than that. Double it even. Hundred dollars. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm telling you, get a lot of seed. Oh, in the ground today. It doesn't matter the amount, but I'm challenging you. If you can sow $50, sow $50. If you're in U.S., it's not even $50. It's only about 38 So come on, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Evenings by giving 50 in Canada. But I'm telling you, listen, this man, this ministry that you're sowing into today is worth it. My God. My God. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be sitting here saying sow into this man if I didn't believe in him. I've I believed in him the day I met him. It was like God joined our hearts together. And sometimes you just know. Yes. And yes. Uh, then we had the opportunity to be together in Michigan. And it was, yes. it was a crazy busy weekend. And we didn't get to spend a lot of time together. But you could just pick up his heart. And you can pick up Lee's heart. And, and these people love people. Amen. Amen. And so. We, we do. We love, I mean, we love, we do, and we're, you know, that's just the foundation of, of the ministry of Christ, you know, yeah. it is loyalty and love, right? loyalty. I mean, if you never prophesy, your life should prophesy. Right. Yeah, right. Your loyalty will prophesy. Oh, Rabba oh. Oh, that's, your that's, loyalty will prophesy. You no, know, I think I think that's a book right there, Jock. That, that is your loyalty. Will, you, you you know what the, the Lord and I don't know why it's a special. If you don't write it. It's, it's, it's a special and uh, something something is hovering. Like yeah. I, I feel a glory, uh, like yeah, a glory there's, cloud. This is a different uh, broadcast. Ooh, we didn't Rabbi plan Shantai. to go this way. Right, no, we didn't. But it's a glory cloud. I can sense it. Yeah. It's a it's yeah. a lingering because the Lord is after something. Yeah, the Lord is after something. <laughs> and, and I just and I just sense, you know, a couple years ago. The Lord had me prophesy something, and we don't, my wife and I, we don't really talk about money a whole lot, but the yeah. Lord had me prophesy. He said, prophesy to the people the anointing of free. Wow. And I said, I said, Lord, what is that? I said, I don't even understand what that is. I said, what is that? Thank the you. Lord says, I'm literally going to gift yeah. my people with things where you don't even have to use the currency of man. I'm wow. just going to gift it to you. Jesus. I said, my God. And the people immediately began to just have testimony after testimony. Yeah. And the Lord said, well, I was talking to you too. I was like, oh. And the Lord literally told me, he said, go to your account. Yeah. And I want you to check your um, your student loan. You know, I said, oh, boy, I don't want to check my student loan because I already know what's going, you know, and because I'm not I'm, I'm so accustomed to prophesying to people yeah. that sometimes I forget the word is also for me. Yes. And so I went to my account. Literally, it says zero. Wow. Zero. The Lord said, well, don't forget to check the other account. Sure. I checked the, the other account, which is not even connected to that one. That one said zero. The Lord says, see, I told you I was talking to you. See, I'm a believer. So you don't have to convince me because I, my life is supernatural. Hallelujah. My life is here. Hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Somebody prophesied to me in Michigan. They prophesied to me the make, model, and color of my vehicle. Yeah. I was in Michigan. I went to California. The Lord said, go to California. I went to California. The Lord told me, he said, go to the mall. I said, the mall? The Lord said, go to the mall. I went to the mall. The Lord said, go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. This is in California. Yeah, I remember the story. I went to the bathroom. A man was a man was in the stall. He spoke out of the stall and said, I was waiting for you to come. I have your vehicle. <laughs> Yeah. And guess what? It was the same make and model that was prophesied to me by somebody else way back in Michigan. Same color. Jesus. See, you can't, I have, I live a supernatural life. Yeah. When I was in California, I received over 50 prophetic words of my, of my destiny and what I was called to do. It, it literally shocked me. 
Yeah. It literally shocked me. But I'm here to encourage you, people of God, that when the Lord is speaking, believe what the Lord says. Yeah. And this, I'm telling you, this is a special, and it doesn't take a lot of people. No. It's not even about numbers of people. I'm, I'm so over that. Yeah. <laughs> because so people bad. are people are fickle, and most people don't have discernment. I'm, I'm gonna right. make you mad. Most people don't really have discernment anyway. But because right. I'm, a, I can actually prove that. But, but what I want to say, Bishop, this moment <laughs> is so anointed. Yeah. There's, there's something on this moment. And right? we don't even know. I mean, we don't even have to. We don't even fully know. I don't even know. Something glorious is something angelic, is something life changing, is something prophetic. Hallelujah! That's happening in uh, Roba Shata, uh, uh, Shaziah, Shaz, Sister Shaziah. The, yep. the Lord told me to tell you, my God, that there is a grace upon your life, Amma, and upon your second daughter. The yeah. Lord says, upon all your children, but the Lord said, your second daughter, there mm -hmm. is a grace upon her even right now. And I sense the miraculous, my God, and the hand of God is going to move upon all of you in this season. And the Lord says, get ready, because the Lord says, you're coming even to America. My God, and the Lord says, even when things look a certain way, the Lord says you're coming and you're going to be traveling. But the Lord mm -hmm. said, it's not even going to end there. The Lord says, I'm expanding you. And the Lord says, even when things look a certain way, I'm bringing the miracle out of a place of nothingness. That's in the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's let's to to Isaac, Isaac Angus, who I met. In, uh, oh, oh, my God. He, he's from Virginia. And uh, you, oh might have met him. you might have met Isaac when you were there, did you, John? I don't know if I met Isaac. I, I may have. <laughs> yeah, well, I was, Isaac, I think, was there when you were there. But he was oh, just to the car two months ago. He drove, listen, this guy. This guy, he's connected wow. to Jennifer. He's led worship okay. for a little bit. And this guy drove in March. He drove from Virginia to San Antonio just to be at our conference. My God. Drove all the way. Drove all night. 18 My hours God. to San Antonio just to be at our conference. My God. Look, God gifted him a car since then. Glory look, be at, look at that. You know, I don't I don't remember. I, I, maybe I met Isaac or not, but, but the Lord says it's Isaac time in your life. The Lord says he's going to cause you to laugh on a whole nother level. Wow. Um, and I just hear music all around you. It's supernatural. Yeah, As a matter of fact, I hear uh, music that is so supernatural that the frequency is even going to cause levels of transportation. I know wow. that's beyond some of you, some of you but but I, but I just sense the Lord just really using you as an instrument, and the Lord is going to literally strum you as chords, Amen. It's, and you, your life is going to be a glory chord, Hallelujah, unto the Lord. And so the Lord says, prepare yourself because it's Isaac time. It's time to laugh. And the Lord says, even as you laugh and and you believe God in faith, there's going to be miracles, birth. There's going to be Isaac times, amen, it's going to be atmospheres of laughter, amen, not silliness, not foolishness, but authentic times of laughter, authentic Isaac times, I hear the Lord says, that's going to literally cause people to go from one place, one season into the next. And so the Lord says, prepare yourself, Isaac, because it is Isaac time. Hallelujah. Wow. Come on, people, I'm, I'm asking you, 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 listen, I'm sowing my seed right now, it's in it's in the account, I just sowed it. Bless you. Bless so we want to we want to get in on this harvest because I'll tell you. Hallelujah. I'll tell you. Shaka borande sabasoto. We need to talk to when you're off because we need to arrange to. I need to fly you down to Florida to be with Mama Ruth. Yes. Oh my. Oh my God. Yeah, I would love that. that. Cub because something's happening there. I'll yes. Tell you. Something is happening. Matter, yes. matter of fact, Mama Ruth, the yes. Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Rabbi yes. City. Yes. And the Lord said that there's like these meetings, uh, but the Lord said these meetings are about to grow. And even wow. the venue, my God, you're going to have to change venues, yeah. man, because wow. more are going to come. And the Lord says there's even going to be an influx, amen, of, wow. now this is interesting, <laughs> there's going to be an influx of the elderly, 
But there's also going to be an influx of Latinos that are wow. going to come to these That's meetings. Good. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so God says, prepare yourself. Amen. Because there's yeah. literally going to be waves of glory, even as you live near uh, the, the bay. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God said there's going to be waves and waves of glory that are going to rise upon these meetings, even like the water rises upon the sea. And the Lord, oh, Shete. And the Lord says, prepare yourself. And even the thanks that you have planned for these meetings, the Lord says, just prepare, prepare yourself to just lay before me. And the Lord says, I'm going to move. And the Lord says, I'm going to orchestrate even the things that happen. And God says, even the music is going to evolve. And, and the, the, I, I just hear a glory sound that's going to come forth even out of these meetings. And prophecy is going to come forth even like honey that's flowing down a mountain, the Lord says. And so the Lord says, continue to prepare yourself, continue to prepare your spirit. And the Lord says, even, um, I don't know if you have a grand or not, but I don't know why I keep hearing grandson. Amen. But God says, yes, I'm visiting your grandson. Amen. It may be somebody that even looks up to you. It may be somebody that you're mentoring, but I, but I keep hearing grandson. But God says, I'm visiting even your grandson. So the Lord says, prepare, prepare yourself for these things because God says, I am going to move. Even in the, within the next three months, the Lord says, prepare yourself. Amen. And there's even going to be a cry for more meetings. <laughs> And I hear you talking to Bishop and say, Bishop, I mean, what are we supposed to do? And, and Bishop going to say, hey, whatever the Lord is saying, go for it, because it's gonna, there's a need there. There's a midnight cry that is going forth that's going to cause prison doors to open. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I'm preparing you for these things. And even Dan, the Lord says, I, I see Dan coming up and Dan coming forth. And God says, I'm going to use you even a, a, in a very powerful way. And you're going to even come out of this season, amen, like never before. But the Lord says in a very unique way, amen, the Lord says you're mature enough to even handle it. But the Lord says, I'm preparing you for something even greater than what you're Hallelujah. Wow. Those Hallelujah. are serious, Those are serious you, words. Wow. Hallelujah. Mama Ruth might be out under the power over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God, they just had, at their last gathering, uh -huh. they just had their first Latino show up. What? <laughs> they had three, three Latinos that had... Come that on. had that had moved from New York City. What? And and uh, so yeah. Come on, Latinos. So it's it's here. Yes. I'm telling you, come on, come on, get some get some love in the ground know. today. Get a love ah. seed for Jaw today. Come on, Lord. We're only gonna go for another about 10 minutes. So get that seed in the ground right now. www.myeim.org. There's a beautiful presence on here. Listen, Dan, Dan just said that just hit him right in the gut. Boom. That's a powerful word over you, Dan. Listen, there's people all over on this broadcast. You need to sow today. I'm telling you, get that seed in the ground. Watch what God will do. We're not manipulating you. We're just asking you. That's right. That's right. Amen. Would you, would you get the seed in the ground? Because, listen, I got my seed in the ground. I want, I want in on this harvest. Okay. Dan, Dan Bailey, the Lord yeah. says, the Lord says, the Lord says, I have you in the lion's den, <laughs> amen, for a reason, and it's to demonstrate my glory. See, if, if if Daniel would have never been in the lion's den, then then God's glory could not have been revealed in that way. See, see, a lot of times we, we're like, Lord, take me out of here, Lord, take me, but we don't understand that the Lord has us in that place, first of all, because he trusts us and he loves us. And he doesn't take us somewhere for us to perish, but he yeah. takes us there for us to thrive. And the Lord says, mm -hmm. you're going to thrive in the lion's den, amen, for my glory. Yeah. And so the yeah. Lord, because the Lord says, I will shut the mouth of the lion and you will be the lion in the lion's den. <laughs> my God. <laughs> and so, God, we thank you for Daniel and we thank you for what you're stirring, even in his spirit right now. And even things that were prophesied 19 years ago, the Lord says, are going to come to pass. <laughs> and the Lord says, it's stirring in you. And the Lord says, many will call you dad. Many will call you spiritual father because God says, I will also bring an 
influx of youth who will come in, even college age uh, young people who will come in, amen, and they will worship and they will praise, amen, and they will give thanks. And the Lord calls them uh, the thankful ones. The thankful ones will come, my God, and they will change the scope of even what is being done. And because there's a shift that is coming, the, the wind is shifting. There, there's a, a, a barometric change even in the spirit, amen. Hallelujah. But God says, you all are prepared for it and you are the ones that I have chosen to do it. Amen. So go forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wow, so beautiful. Ah, rah, bah, bah, bah. Well, it's funny too, John, because when we ask people to give, they're like, oh, there's great ground to give and they don't give. <laughs> I, right. I don't, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Listen, if you're going to be a person of your word, if you're going to say things, be a person of your word. And so Amen. God's God's uh, God's doing something. So I, I'm asking you, would you would you sow in today? We're going to go for about another seven minutes, eight minutes, and uh, God's God's doing something special. I, I want you to get in on this anointing. Listen, oh, Pastor Reese. Prophet Reese, thanks for sowing from New Zealand. Yes. Hallelujah. How about you speak over Prophet Reese there? Come on. He can my God. My God. Uh, Reese, I just, oh, I just hear expansion, like the Lord is expanding you, uh, even in the area of ministry and even in the arena of social media ministry, wow. that the Lord is expanding you and he's literally going to cause people to be drawn to you in a very unique way. And the Lord says he wants you to prepare for overflow because many people cry out for the overflow, but they're not fully prepared for the overflow. The Lord says, be prepared. Ah, the Lord says, prepare yourself for the overflow. Prepare yourself for even as you have lightning. The Lord says, prepare yourself for throne room experiences. Because my throne room, there are lightnings and there are thunderings. Hallelujah. But the Lord says, you are going to discern things on a level that you have never discerned things. Your, your level of understanding, amen, is, is going to become so clear. And the Lord says, you're going to minister to people with a precision that you have never yeah, bo -bo -bo -shata, had before and the Lord's going to connect you with even more people. You're going to reach out to more people and I see you connecting and I see you with like this weekly I don't even know if you're doing this already, but I see you like with a weekly broadcast and I see you bringing more people on. And I just I just hear miracles, 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 miracles yeah, in man. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Yeah, Prophet Reese, you need to have jaw on, by the way. Yeah. yeah, he does. He does have a. He does have a broadcast that he does actually. Mm, so praise God. He'll hallelujah. get you on there, Jaw, with him. He'll he'll be very blessed by that. My God, Hallelujah! Yeah, come on. There's Pastor Cliff from New Zealand. He's on. This man's so hungry. I can't wait to meet him soon. I'm hoping he's going to come to our conference in Australia. Yeah, yeah, I feel, I, yeah, I feel that too. Like I, I yeah, keep yeah. hearing, yeah, I keep hearing in the spirit, Amen. That this is your ah Robo Shata, and that the Lord is doing something in your wife right now. Wow. I, I, didn't even, like, I didn't even know he's told. Before he even saw no. My God, the Lord said, "I'm doing something in your wife. You are a team of teams." Wow. My wow. God, the Lord says, "You're going to take Asia by storm." Wow. Ha, my God, the Lord says, even beyond where you're at, the Lord says where you're at may look like Bethlehem, but hallelujah, but the, the destiny is great, amen. The huh. Lord says, I'm putting bread on the inside of you, but that bread is going to be multiplied. I, I see, I hear two fish, five loaves of bread. My God, hallelujah. and I just see the Lord just putting... Five loaves of bread in you right now. But no, you're no. going to pass that bread out. You're going to prophesy to people, and that bread is going to keep going. You said, Well, I thought God gave me five pieces, but you're going to just keep going. The Lord says, What I give you is already multiplied because there's a spirit of multiplication that I'm placing in your spirit. And the Lord says, Even wow. when you lay hands on people, glory to God, there's an anointing in your right hand, and wow. your wife is going to have an anointing in her right hand, but, but she's going to have her left hand, and you're going to just lay hands on the people. And God says, They shall recover. So and even in the realm of government, God is doing something in government there. God, there's a shift happening. Hallelujah. God said there's a shift there, even in government. Um, I don't even know who's the head of government there. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, but, they're but, an, but, an, but, election, but, an election the end of this month, John. 
No way. No yeah. way. That's my God. I, I my God. My yeah. God. And I, and I don't even know. But I, but I see oh, a woman. Oh, I, I keep seeing a woman. And um, I don't even know if she's married or not. But I but I keep seeing a woman. Amen. And I don't know. If, but she's connected to government. And so so somebody in, in, in where you live, I mean, it's a woman. And I don't even know if she's married or not. But it's like she's even either she just got married or she's about to be married. But God says, watch her. Amen. Because there's going to be something. Uh, there's going to be an interesting shift that's happening and but also in New Zealand there's going to be um there's going to be Muslims hallelujah that are going to have visitations from Jesus there's going to be at least three people in the upcoming week that are going to have visitations of Jesus amen and they're going to have a radical testimony the Lord says so New Zealand is ripe for revival then Australia is ripe for revival no. Asia is ripe for revival hallelujah the, the Lord says that they're ripe for revival in Jesus name amen I was just, I was just going to pick up on that because I, I sense uh, Pastor. Oh Cliff, my God! I, I, she said, uh, Pastor did you Cliff, see? My... God, what's up? Oh my God! Oh, Linda. Somebody just posted something about the prime. Oh my God! Yeah, I don't Linda. know who it was. Maybe it was uh, Reese. Reese. Reese had just oh, Reese. Uh, posted yeah, something I'll get it on about the prime minister. Oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, there it is, right there. Oh my God! There you go. Oh Enjoy. my God! Oh my God. My God. Hallelujah. Listen, Hallelujah. Uh, back Pastor Cliff here. I, I sense the Lord say that you need to prepare the house mm. because, because you, company is coming. Mm. What, I, what I sense the Lord saying is your church that you're pastoring right now is about to grow, but part of the preparation is you need to begin to raise someone up or have someone in the waiting because. God's shifting you from evangelistic even into apostolic. And you're going to go and you're going to come back. You're going to go and you're going to come back. And you need to set it in order because you need to be the overseer of what's happening there and raise up a son within that's going to be loyal, that's going to be committed, that has your heart, that has your DNA. And and I don't even know. I've, I've had you on so many broadcasts, Pastor Cliff. I've never spoke that over you. But, I, I, but I feel the Lord just putting that in my heart. Um, so I, I hope that witness is in your heart. I, I don't know. A witness in mine. I I, love, I don't know. For some reason, I just love him. Like, I I've never even met him. I just love yeah, him. Yeah, I, I love him. <laughs> I just love him. I'm like, can away, I, I'm, so like, can I just, I'm like, can I just meet you? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. There's an ebony, ebony Wakefield. Yeah, I see ebony. Is that okay, yeah. My yeah. God, hallelujah. The Lord says it's morning time. The Lord says it's morning time in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord says new mercies. New mercy. So that, that, oh, that you're going to operate in the new mercies of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord says your faith is your receipt. Hallelujah. That faith is substance. That faith is not something invisible. See, we were taught for a long time and we were made, it was made to appear that faith was something like, but faith is substance. Amen. And God says, you're going to operate in the substance of God. And the Lord said, it's your time. And I feel a burning even in your hand. God said, it's time to lay hands on the people of God. It's time to lay hands even on the walls of where you at, because there's going to be expansion. Oh, God says the oil is upon your life. Hallelujah. And God says, great change. <laughs> great change is coming to your environment. A positive change. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news is coming your way. Not bad news, but good news, the Lord said, is coming your way to Sister Wakefield in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> John Maria. Maria is from Sweden. She's the first one to sow in the broadcast. Oh, my God. I feel, oh, my Maria. God. You, as soon yeah. as you said her name, I thought the glory of God, wow. like the yeah. sweet, the sweet yeah. presence of God. And God says, your prayers Thank you, are even do I, your prayers from where you're at. Yeah, your prayers are going all the way through Finland, all the way to Moscow. Yeah. My God, and God says, all the way through that area. Yep. All the way through from, from where you're at in Sweden, yep. all yep. the way through Finland, all yep. the way into my yep. your prayers wow. are going there, and your That's prayers it. are literally gonna thwart some things that the That's enemy it. has planned because God says there even has been talk, amen, of, of things coming against Finland, amen. How yep. things eventually coming against Sweden? 
Jesus. My God, but I just sense something powerful, glory to God, happening in that region. I sense something powerful happening in the Stockholm area. My God, there's wow. going to be revival. Amen. Even in, even in Copenhagen, Denmark, that entire <laughs> region is marked for revival. And the Lord says, I'm coming like a submarine force. The Lord says, I'm coming under the water, but I'm coming as a powerful water force. And my spirit is coming and revival is coming. And God says, even my, even recreational drugs is going to begin to decline because of my presence. Wow. And even apathy and people who are just agnostic, glory to God, they're going to begin to have encounters with me because of my spirit. And the Lord says, you and your intercession play such a key role. You, you are like a lighthouse in that region. And the Lord is so pleased with you. You are such a sweet, sweet vessel, my God, of the Lord. And the Lord loves you. You are precious. My God, you are like the, oh, my God, hallelujah. The Lord loves you. So the Lord said, there's nothing that I will not do for her. My God, the Lord loves you. And you are just robed with favor. I see the, I see you have a robe on and the robe is just favor in and of itself. It's like you are a Josephina, glory to God. And the Lord wants you to be encouraged. The Lord wants you to be encouraged. And the Lord says, even the seeds that you have sown down through the years, it is harvest time. And the Lord says, they're coming up because you've sown into good ground. And God says, now, now, now is that time for the arising, even over the nations. And the North Star of God, amen, shall shine over Sweden. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Well, well, hallelujah. Well. Ooh, wow. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Sweet heavenly dove. Stay right with us. Filling us with your love. And for thy blessing, we lift our hearts in prayer. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. I listened to that song in my car today on the way home. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. I haven't sang that song in years. So you can ask me. You can find me right now. No, the Lord told me to keep playing. I play. And even Bree Bree said, play that song again. Just today on my way home. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Heavenly Dove. Stay right here with us. Filling us with your love. And all these blessings, we lift, we lift our hearts with praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place hallelujah sweet heavenly dove hallelujah sweet heavenly dove Sweet heavenly dove, sweet heavenly dove. Hallelujah, sweet heavenly dove. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Veronica Schultz. She said, Lord, Lord. absolutely, absolutely. She's pursuing. The Lord says everything is going to be all right. The Lord says everything, because in your mind, in your heart, the Lord is healing you even from the wounds. Amen. That, that someone who was close to you, amen, wounded your heart. Hallelujah. And you said, can my heart, can my wounded heart be put back together again? Hallelujah. But the potter, hallelujah. I see the Lord coming to you as the potter. Amen. And I literally see the potter putting you back together again. And as a matter of fact, the Lord says, not only am I putting you back together, you're going to be better than new. 
Wow. Okay. And the Lord says, uh, right now, the mind of Christ is yours. The, the Lord said, right now, the heart of Christ is yours. Right now, Christ's body is yours. And I just command transformation upon Veronica because this is the desire of Veronica Schultz. This is the desire for there to be a change in your life. And so, Lord, I thank you for Veronica. I thank you for your mind. I thank you for your heart. Hey, I thank you for healing. Healing her broken heart, Lord God. I thank you that you're putting things back together again for Veronica. Ha, Rabbi. And the Lord says things are already better, even after this broadcast. The Lord says you had to be on here tonight to receive my God. Jesus. My God. But the Lord said he's putting things back together again. And the Lord says that that life, that life, that life is on the inside of you because the enemy has tried to lie to you because of the things that have happened. But I prophesy, I decree and declare that everything is already all right. I just decree and declare the love of Christ over you right now. I just see the rainbow over you. That's the Lord's covenant just wrapping itself around you. And the Lord says things are already better. Things are already better. So I speak to every organ of your body. I speak to the reproductive organs of your body. And I just speak the fruitfulness of God, that even your spiritual womb is blessed, your natural womb is blessed, that you are blessed from the crown of your head, even to the sole of your feet. And we just thank you for that, God, in Jesus' mighty name. The last one I want to do tonight, John, is Nadia. Nadia is from Ontario, Canada. Just say hi, Nadia. I just saw you on here. Speak over you. That's going to be it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, uh, so Nadia, we welcome you back to the broadcast. Yes. I'll tell you, Ja, you know what? I took two months off and I, I've, I've went through so much stuff and all that, but I'm a different person right now. Yes, you are. You are. You're anointed. You and are. I, know, I know I'm more sensitive to the Holy Spirit than I've ever been. Just You are. That just proved it right there. You right? are. Like, because I tapped in and I had no idea. Because I haven't sang that song in years, Ja. My God, I listened to that all. I mean, that's like of all the songs you can listen to, like what in the world? Like, yes, out of all the thousands and thousands, like that's of the people. Lord. That's what I'm saying. It's not me. That's it's him. No, that's him. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. But, but it's just like, I'm telling you, you, you got to go back to this beginning of this broadcast, watch the whole thing because this this has been so powerful today. My and God, Holy Spirit God. moved in a very unusual way on this broadcast. Would you say, John? Would that be oh, accurate? oh, very unusual ways. Very we didn't have anything planned. We didn't know what mm -hmm. way it was going to go, mm -hmm. but we tapped in. So Nadia, okay. here, over you today. So, oh, so that seed. Come on, people, just get that seed in the ground. That's the last hallelujah. one. They sow a love gift to John. Hallelujah, Nadia. I just hear the Lord saying, "Hallelujah." He's taking you back to Eden. He's taking you back, back to a place of, of peace and rest and tranquility. He's taking you to a place where you walk with him. And my God, and I just sense um, birth. My God, something is being birthed even out of your spiritual womb. Even a, a, a new sense of Hallelujah. Even a new intercession, glory to God, is being birthed out of you. Um, even an intercession of moanings and groanings are going to come forth out of you. Amen. I just hear the water breaking and the Lord is saying it's time for the birthing. It's time for the birthing. It's time for the birthing out of this uh, powerful vessel of God. And the Lord says, be encouraged. Be encouraged because there's great things that are coming forth. And I see you meeting someone. You're going to meet a, a, a brand new person. Amen. And I, and I want to say that this person is of Jamaican descent. Amen. I don't know. <laughs> but this is going to be a sign. Amen. This person is going to be uh, a hot rebels of Jamaican descent, interestingly enough. And you and, and and this woman, amen, you and her are going to become really good friends, amen, and she's going to be like a prayer partner to you, amen. I can, I can sense it very strong, amen, but God is bringing external help, amen. The Holy Ghost is our internal help, but he's also bringing external help. You are, I already see like a, a, just a, a quadri of angels around you, oh my Lord, 
assisting and even helping you. And the Lord says this next season is going to be a season of peace and prosperity for you in the realm of the spirit. And so the Lord says, my God, even during your quiet time, even during your devotion time, the Lord says, I am there. And the Lord says, he look, the Lord says, I look forward to it. I look forward to spending time with you. You, you must be the bomb, my God. But the mm -hmm. Lord says he looks forward to spending time with you. And so the Lord says, even prepare and block off specific time for me. Because the Lord says, I'm going to meet you in the cool of the day in the garden. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Now, uh, uh, Pastor Diana Hart and Pastor Rick Hart. Yeah, Diana, just come down here. Let's just. My God, hallelujah. Diana, in a long time. So let's. Oh, Rabbi Shata. We just honor them yeah. in Jesus' yeah. mighty name. Ah, Rabbi Shata. And, and the Lord says, You're at the heart of my will. You are at the heart of my will. And I, I don't know exactly where you live, but I just see ministry. And I see you both up on a stage. Amen. And yeah. I just see the Lord just uh, uh, using you tremendously. And I see you and I hear you more so really ministering to young couples. And it's almost like the Lord is going to give you a ministry uh, for couples and what for, for how, to, how to wait on the Lord, how to wait on the Lord even before you get married, but how to even wait on the Lord once you are married. And yeah. God's going to really give you all supernatural revelation knowledge of how the Bible is even an account of marriage, amen? It's our marriage to him. And so you're going to demonstrate to people the bigger purpose, amen, of, of how if you wait on God, that your life is a revelation. So we don't just get a revelation. We are a revelation, amen? But God is going to give you all to even write and to record on these teachings as well. And they're going to be tremendously anointed. And you both are going to be known as people of truth, like people who don't play. Like they know if they come to you, you're just going to give them the raw truth, but in love. Amen. And so people are going to value that. Hallelujah. And people are going to appreciate that. But I just sense a fresh, even supernatural release. And um, I see a, I don't even know where you're at, but I see a connection for you um, uh, in Destin, Florida. Amen. The Lord says Destin, something in Destin, Florida. But I also see another connection for you um, in Mississippi. Amen. Uh, okay. oh, Rabbi I want to say Biloxi. I've never been there before, but I want to say Biloxi. But I see a connection for you um, in those places. And so the Lord says, prepare yourselves for something tremendous. Prepare yourself for something great. Because the Lord says, check this out. This is only the beginning. The Lord said, this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. Thus said the Spirit. Hey, so John, i got to tell you this. So first of all, first of all, they uh, they uh, just got married a few months ago. My God. My and God. Pastor Rick was living in Florida. What? <laughs> they, they know, they know a pastor in Destin, Florida. What? And they just moved and took a church in Mississippi. You have got to be <laughs> Now you gotta understand. We gotta go deeper here. What? Because not only not only do they pastor now in Mississippi, and Diana, you know I'm telling the truth, so you can confirm this on here. What? But but before they did this, Diana had a singles ministry and reached out to singles all the all the time. Look at, I mean, there it is right there. And they were reaching oh, out. Oh my god! They were oh, reaching god. out to singles, and she still has a heart for that. But now, together, like you said. They're moving into more, uh, not only not only a singles ministry still, they're going to continue that because yes. that's part of her passion and, and what God raised in her. <clears throat> but now they're ministering to couples and ministering together. And so now they're the lead pastors at a church that they just, wow. just took over not even two months ago, Josh. What? In Mississippi. Oh, my. And this relocated is... from Florida. <laughs> Look, she's she's saying like, probably you're you're so on point. So, my God, glory. Diana, you better get some seed in the ground on this one. I sense the has, glory. No, I sense the God. glory. The glory Moss of God is Point, so strong. Mississippi, ja. Oh my, Moss Point, Mississippi. Lord God. And so, so I mean, I, I mean, that's that. Wow. I just Jesus. I saw her pop on and I said we got to minister to her. Jesus, like, wow, hey, Bishop, you, you on? You on, Bishop? Did you, you just on. read the? <laughs> <laughs> my God, sounds like Jesus to me. Ooh, glory, sounds right, like Jesus. Man. Come on, shock up. Sounds like children. Jesus. You know what's so powerful? No, it's not like, they, I'm telling you, that couple right there. I mean, the glory, the weight, yeah. the weight. I mean, no, the just 
I just sense like this teaching grace, like this grace, yeah. just to teach, like this way. And people are going to get now. We haven't seen a lot of this, but we're going to see a lot more of this in 2022 and 2023. People are going to be slain in the spirit as teaching goes forth. Wow. <laughs> My God. Oh, no. No, I mean, you're, out, well, the yes, they're, they're going to fall out. And I sense oh, that on this couple, no. that you're going to be teaching the word. Hallelujah. That there is literally going to be such a <laughs> grace. Hallelujah upon the teaching and such a weight and such a heat and such a fire on the teaching that they, people are going to be slain. Huh. And, pe and, and then people are going to know, oh, that the Lord is serious about teaching, that it's not just about performance. It's not right. just about, you know, prophetic, but the, the authentic truth, the grace of. The grace and truth, grace and truth, grace and truth, grace and truth. Wow, 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 wow. Listen, I'll tell you. My God, I, listen, you better shafa taka get seen in the ground right now because something unusual is happening here. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get you back real quick. Okay. I'm gonna get you back on this broadcast because yeah. now Diana, she's in Chicago. Her mom had hip surgery and now she can't sleep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I'll tell you because I think I think we need to I think we need to tap into something, Ja. Yeah. And, yeah. and here's here's what I'm sensing. It's uh at the end of May. It's coming into Pentecost, and in, which is in June, and so I think you and I need to tag team, doing yeah. doing a little bit of Pentecost teaching. Oh, abs absolutely! On the whole, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, and we're, gonna do, and we're gonna do continuous broadcasts. We're gonna do several yes. nights in a row coming yes. up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, that's, I'll be, that's, I'll be yeah. in Trinidad, but we'll make a way. I mean, it's, yes. it's in the afternoon, so I should be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the Lord. So, it's the Lord. So I, I feel that in my heart because I've I've been kind of should I do something should I not? But then yep. I felt right now, even as I just opened my mouth, that we need to do that, and I need I need to have you on there because I I feel there's something that you and I carry together in Pentecostal yes yes theology and experience yep yep that yep. needs to be imparted into people. It's a one-two punch, it, 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 it is, it's, and it's necessary, and it, and it goes beyond how we feel, you know? Yeah. It goes beyond the challenges of our physical bodies, of yeah. our schedules. Oh, yeah, because we're exhausted. We got something yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got some yes. happening. It's like uh, the last thing we need is another broadcast, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm like, really? Did I just do this? Did I just do this? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, my wife's going to say, did you really just do that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> I don't know. But there's one more job. I, I need to. Yes. I need to. We need to do something because Elizabeth Richard, Elizabeth, oh, I'm telling you, you and your husband have been on my heart. Mm. I just said to Diana, no lies, two days ago, I said, Elizabeth Richard from PEI, I haven't seen her on a broadcast lately. I haven't heard from her, but I said, I, I believe that they're they're a powerful couple. And uh, God had connected us for some reason. And so I don't know. Um, I don't know, but Elizabeth, you popped on today. So I believe it's the whole. John, would you just pre uh, speak over Elizabeth today and her husband, Sebastian? And uh, they're from Prince Edward Island, Canada. My God, hallelujah. And so hallelujah. Linda, Linda, just go to... Uh, yeah, try that. Try that again. RevGG at myeim.org or uh, info at myeim.org. And so I don't even know. Dan, Dan's confirming they're a precious couple. So I don't know. Wow. And, uh, and wow. So, so I don't know. My God. I keep trying that PayPal, guys. It should work from all over the world. It, it is working because I'm getting people give. So try it again, Frankie. Try it again, Linda. Uh, bless you. Go ahead over Elizabeth and Sebastian. I, I feel it's a Holy Ghost encounter moment right here. On this because I just said to my wife two days my ago, God. My God. I'm not even lying, John. Like you can 
She, oh, I know you're not. Down here right now, she would tell you. My God. And I didn't God. see them on a broadcast or anything. There's no reason for me to say that, but I said in the Holy Ghost. My God. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. My God. I just sense that um, there's something. Um, I, I just saw the name Elizabeth, and I was just reminded of how something was leaping. Something was leaping in her womb when she encountered Jesus, amen, in the womb of Mary, amen. And, and I just sense that something is, is coming forth that is powerful uh, in the ministry of yourself and your husband and the ministry in general, amen, something unique. And I see you all, you both are like... Um, I don't know why I keep seeing a lighthouse for some reason. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord says the next time you see the lighthouse, amen, just know that I've placed a lighthouse on the inside of you and your husband. Amen. Wow. It's almost like it's a lighthouse ministry. Hey, Robo, shata. And the Lord says that, Elizabeth, you are a city. Hallelujah. That you are a city set on a hill. My God. That you are an entire city. That there is a city of God on the inside of you. Amen. That is waiting to explode in ministry. Amen. And so the Lord says it's time to step out and it's time to walk on the water. And the Lord says, yes, you shall walk on the water. And I see expansion of ministry. I see growth of ministry. I see, my God, oh, I see connections. Amen. Even just, I keep hearing something called Brunswick. Or I see connections. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ministry connections. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, you're going to travel even throughout New England. My God, connections. Wow. My God, even in Boston, of the United States. I just sense a, a connection. But the Lord is also going to use you in Europe. I see you uh, and your husband also traveling to the United Kingdom. Glory to God. Wow. I see a connection there as well, ministry-wise. And so the Lord says it's time to launch out into the deep. It's time to prepare yourselves. But I have placed my lighthouse, hey, my powerful light of truth, my powerful light of grace on the inside of your ministry. And the Lord says, you are walking in your now season. And the Lord says, believe me like never before. And the Lord says, miracles, signs, and wonders you shall see even in your midst, but even on your broadcast, the Lord says, you shall see unprecedented miracle signs and wonders. And so the Lord says, prepare yourself. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, the next time you see the lighthouse, the lighthouse, amen, let it be a reminder that I have my lighthouse on the inside of you. That said the spirit of the Lord. Amen. My lighthouse. My lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, what a broadcast, y'all, today. Something's birthing. Something's happening. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I don't know, but oh, but uh, Linda, does Linda, Linda, do you live in Australia? I think you live in Australia, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're down under somewhere. And uh, yeah, wow, Elizabeth just said, wow, John. Oh, rah, bah, bah, Listen, I'm giving you one more opportunity, folks. Get seed in the ground today. We want to give a love gift to, to Jaw. And uh, blesses, wow, so amazing. She said, that's right, Elizabeth, just receive that. You and Sebastian be blessed. I believe God brought you here for this moment. So it's powerful. So we're going to we're gonna continue. John and I are going to pick it up in a couple weeks as we're heading into Pentecost. Yes. And uh, so if you're in, John, we're going to do it. Absolutely. And we'll just we'll just do a series of broadcasts. Here, here, right here, John, look at this. P.I. houses are everywhere. What? <laughs> My God. I knew that, but I, I didn't I didn't want to say. But I, my God, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I mean, I mean something's exceptional happened. I mean, share this broadcast, share this broadcast, get it out because because people need to see how God is at work. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Apostle James for coming today. Thank Minister you for having me. Thank, Thank you, you all for Lee 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 for releasing you and uh, and uh, for, for being a part of your ministry. Amen. And we just Thank be blessing over you today. We'll talk to you soon. Amen. Uh, God love bless. You so much. Thank love you. you so much. God bless you. Wow, what a broadcast today. Woo! Unusual anointing.
Linda, do you live in Australia? Linda Jones, I, I can't remember. I, I feel like you live in Australia somewhere. I feel like I saw that along the way somewhere. And uh, yeah, you live in Australia. Linda, we're coming to Australia. Everybody in Australia, I want you to know, we're coming. We're going to do an Ignite conference in Australia on June the 23rd to 26th. And it's going to be in New South Wales. It's going to be Wyoming. I believe I'm saying it right. It's about an hour and a half outside of Sydney. Pastor Marcus and Rachel. Uh, Prophet Veronica is going to be ministering there with me. Pastor Mark Amir is going to be ministering at the conference. Um, and uh, it's going to be a powerful time together. So, Linda, if you can come and join us, that would be great. We're going to have our first Ignite uh, Southeast Asia um, yeah, Pastor Prophet Rice is coming. I think that's how I knew of you, actually, through Prophet Rice. And uh, and so if you can come and you're in Oz, if you're in Oz, Frankie, are you in Oz too? If you're in Oz, you come too. Come on. Get, get every person that's in Oz or in the Southeast Oceania region, if you're in Fiji, whatever, um, yeah, just uh, send me a message, Linda, and I'll, I'll send that to you. It's free conference. It doesn't cost anything. Just come and just saturate in the Holy Ghost for three days with us. Get under this ignite anointing. You're Frankie. Frankie, you're close to me. Then I'm in. I'm in uh, Alberta, so Washington State's not too too long away. Uh, yeah, Philomena, we need to get you over to that conference. You need to be there if you can travel. We need to get you there because you're Hong Kong. I don't know if you can come that time, but it would be great to have you there if you can get there. And so we're going to have a great time. So I just want to put that on your calendar, 23rd to the 26th of uh, June. Also, my wife and I are heading to Trinidad and Tobago the end of March, or sorry, the end of May. And we're going to be going there the end of this month. And we're going to be doing two, two weekend ministries in Trinidad and Tobago. And so if you're there, I, uh, I want you to just join in for those. It's going to be powerful times, and we can give you info on that if you want. So we're igniting the nations. We're back. We're traveling, and that's why it's important for you to sow. It helps us do what we're called to do. And so Sunday this week, my wife's going to be hosting a broadcast here. It's going to be powerful. Mama Ruth's going to be on, Prophet Veronica, several others, Stephanie Levine, many other prophets are going to be on there five or six lined up. It's going to be powerful. Felicity Amir. It's going to be, it's going to be shaka. It's going to be shattering and shaking in the Holy Ghost. So be there for that. It'll be powerful. And then next Wednesday at four o'clock PM mountain time, our usual one. That's right. Philomena 26, 23rd, 26. Um, on June, on next, next Wednesday, we have my dear friend, pastor Rusty Nelson from Huntsville, Alabama, pastors, the rock church, and it's going to be it's going to be an unbelievable broadcast. You're going to want to be here. Pastors Rock Church. They have three or four campuses throughout uh, Hunt throughout Alabama, and uh, God's using them powerful. Him and his wife Lisa. I've known them for many many years. And uh, if you remember the old Integrity Hosanna tapes, uh, take this city album. Rusty was the one that did that did that uh, album, and uh, God's used them powerfully and is using them powerfully so we're so thrilled that he's agreed to come on next week and we're going to have a great lineup in the month of may here it's going to be incredible and god's moving by the power of spirit would you go to myiam.org so a love gift this will go to jaw today apostle james that which comes in we want to sow into him and be a blessing and so uh i want you to do what you can be a blessing thanks for joining us today and i pray that god will continue to Ignite your destiny by the power of the Spirit. Bye-bye.